YouTube, Bearded Yak in here. Here we are. We got this uh, Bentley Nevada Wobulator. It's a funny name, you know what I mean? Well, we're going to scrap this bad boy out just to see what she has to offer. You know what I mean? I got a couple screws here. I'm not really going to worry about them. But I got a few here. Now this here, we get some stainless out of it. I can tell by the screws. Uh, aluminum, which is all this here. Uh, I don't have my magnet with me. Shit. Yeah, I do. Alright, I got this here. Telescoping OEM tools magnet. As you can see, none of this sticks. Even there. It sticks to them. They're steel. So... This is a good way to see if you have some like uh, some good metal, because just by going like this, nothing's happening. You hit some steel, it's going, it's going, it's going to, you're going to be able to pull the telescoping out. So we got some stainless screws, stainless screws, some more stainless screws, you know. Up here is all steel. I ain't, I ain't really worried about that. So, what we're going to do, like I said, this here is a Bentley Nevada Wobulator. I don't know why they call it a Wobulator. But what it's used for is calibrating vibration, pretty much. That's as far as I got. Looks like we got a lot of shit to take apart. Know what I mean? Let's just get cracking to it. Take these couple of screws out. Look at that. Homemade magnetic tray. Them bad boys don't even stick. So they're stainless. So we're going to take this bad boy apart. And the title of this video. Shit, I don't know what happened to that. The title of this video is exactly how you read it. The Bentley Nevada TK3-2E Wobulator. Scrap out. Know what I mean? So let's take this cover off here. All right, looks like we got some good shit in here. We gotta take some other screws out first. Let's close her up. Take a couple of these out in here. I'm not trying to make this a long ass video, but it's what it sort of looks like it's gonna be. So yeah, we're gonna remove these screws. Drop them in the magnetic tray, even though they don't stick. We popped all these screws out too while we're at it. So we ain't gotta worry about it later. Something just dropped. Something just dropped. I'm going to spin it around. Do the same thing on this side. I'm telling you, this thing's expensive. You look it up. Look it up. By the serial numbers. You know what I mean? What I just said. Look it up. Just how I read it out to you, Bentley Nevada TK3-2E. Brand new, you're going to talking probably like 1600 maybe a little more than that. So I guess this is all one piece. Oh yeah, that's a nice motor on there. Well, not really much inside. You know what I mean? That's all it is. So this... Oh, we got a pin, some sort of pin, probably aluminum. You know what I mean? So, we got some brushed stainless on the inside here, right here. We're going to leave that like that. That'd make a nice battery box for a boat, you know? Save that. Let me get my snips. Snip some of this wiring off. 
right here. Snip that off. This here is, uh, I believe it's aluminum. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's aluminum. Let me scratch it. Yeah, it's aluminum. You scratch it and tell by what kind of metal it is. Aluminum, you're going to dig in right away. Like this here. That's aluminum. This all might be aluminum. Yeah, we got some stainless in here. We got some stainless. Very little, but we got a nice heavy motor. I mean, that motor is heavy. You know? All this is aluminum. A lot of this is aluminum. You know what I mean? You got aluminum with some stainless uh, shit on there. So, we'll figure that out. You know what I mean? So pretty much you got stainless, aluminum, and there's a little little vibrator disc, I guess goes like this. And here, that there is heavy iron. So that's heavy iron, so that's all it is. We got electric motor, little electric motor there on the circuit board. We'll tear that off. Then we got a bullshit uh power sources here, some wiring. I'll save this switch here. This switch, might, yeah, it looks, looks in pretty good condition. I'll save that. Then your speed control here, which I don't know. I'll probably screw it. That's a, that counts as an electric motor, so I'll just throw that in the motor bin. But I'll definitely keep this switch here. Everything else, I'll just uh, throw that circuit board. That's actually a nice circuit board, too. Uh... Nah, circuit board's garbage. That just goes in the regular scrap. Well, I can all, I can throw it in with mixed uh, low-grade circuit boards, which I get a better price than light iron scrap. You know what I mean? So, that being said, you see what this whole thing looks like, and I can't believe. I just can't believe. With these, this little bit of old technology components, and they still sell this, this model. That it costs that much money. Like, seriously. Alright, the motor. Let's see. Alright, made in USA. Okay. That's made in the US. Well, it says Chicago on it. Uh... That's about it. No, I don't see nothing else. Nothing on here. But apparently on here, it states it's made in the USA right here. You know what I mean? I don't see nothing else. It's made in China. Hell, even this power source is made here in the U.S. Hey, even this plug-in says it right on there on the inside here you guys won't be able to see it, it says made in usa uh wow warning shock hazard warning shock hazard do not touch any components including terminals while control is energized well let's plug her the fuck in and see what happens all right, guys, that's about all I got for you for scrapping this thing out. I ain't going to tear this thing apart because we're already at almost at 10 minutes. So anyway, you get an electric motor, you get some stainless, some aluminum, some iron, uh, another electric motor. Hey, that's not bad for, for, for it being free out of the dumpster. And I can even use the box you came in as a battery box for a boat. Or something. Something in that nature. Alright guys, this is Beard Yakin here. Uh, hope you liked the video. If not, I don't care. You know, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. We're making videos. 
you know, with all the bullshit that's been going on. So anyway, beer yakking here. If you want, like, like the video. If you want, comment on the video. And if you want to, you don't have to, but you can subscribe to the channel if you want to. All right, beer to yakking here, and we are signing off.